Unlocking the Secrets of the Giza Pyramids The Role of the Nile The Giza Pyramids stand as timeless marvels, captivating human imagination for millennia. These iconic structures have long puzzled scholars who grapple with the question of how they were constructed. At the heart of this mystery lies the Nile River, depicted as a geometric mountain chain, the Great Pyramid, a testament to Pharaoh Khufu's reign during Egypt's fourth dynasty, sprawled across 13 acres and soared over 480 feet when completed around 2560 BC. The construction involved an astonishing feat, transporting 2.3 million limestone and granite blocks, each weighing more than two tons across vast desert expanses from the Nile's banks to the Giza Plateau. The logistics of moving such colossal stones over land would have been arduous. For centuries, scientists speculated that a river or channel facilitated the process. However, today, the Nile lies miles away from the pyramids. Enter a recent revelation. A team of researchers has uncovered evidence, suggesting that a lost arm of the Nile once flowed through this desert expanse significantly simplifying the transportation of massive slabs to the pyramid complex. Their study delves into the environmental factors that enabled the construction of the Khufu, Khafre, and Menkar pyramids on Giza's West Bank. By reconstructing the rise and fall of the Khufu branch, an extinct Nile tributary, over the past 8,000 years, Using clues preserved in desert soil, the scientists propose a pivotal role for this ancient waterway. According to Haider Shesha, an environmental geographer at the European Center for Research and Teaching in Environmental Geoscience and an author of the study, it was impossible to build the pyramids here without this branch of the Nile. In essence, the Lost River's legacy echoes through time, connecting the ancient wonders of Giza to the life-giving waters that once flowed nearby. The recent discovery of ancient papyri at Wadi al-Jarf has shed new light on how the ancient Egyptians constructed the pyramids at Giza. The papyri were found in 2013 at the site of an old harbor on the Red Sea. Some of the scrolls date back to the reign of Pharaoh Khufu and describe how his official Merer supervised the transport of limestone blocks from quarries along the Nile River to Giza for use in the outer casing of the Great Pyramid. Today, the Nile is over seven kilometers east of the Giza pyramids. However, archaeologists hypothesize there was once a channel dubbed the Khufu Channel that connected the Giza Plateau to the Nile during Khufu's time. This is supported by evidence from modern wastewater project drillings that found remnants of an ancient 1.8 kilometer trench that aligns with where this channel may have flowed, possibly even next to Khufu's palace. The Wadi al-Jarf papyri corroborate that stones were shipped to Giza via a branch of the Nile Examinations of sediment, mummy bones, and teeth from the Pyramid era show the area became much drier later on. Studying pollen grains provided evidence of ancient plant life that could not have survived without consistent water. Researchers suggest this Khufu branch enabled boats to access the Pyramid Harbor complex. Using pollen patterns, they reconstructed 8,000 years of Nile fluctuations in the Giza floodplain. The results indicate the Nile reached its lowest levels at the end of the dynastic period, reflecting gradual aridification of East Africa. In summary, the ancient texts and archaeological evidence paint a picture of how a Nile branch provided a waterway to transport pyramid stones which dried up over thousands of years as the regional climate became more arid. 
The Giza pyramids remain not only architectural marvels, but also testaments to the intricate dance between humanity and its environment, a dance that shaped history and continues to inspire awe today.